do a video on Whitney West Conston. Um, and I thought this was an important video to do because I haven't seen any other animal rights YouTubers doing a video on Whitney West Conston. Um, and I just thought it, she's done a number of awful things to animals and I just thought it would be an important thing to cover. So the first thing she did was actually have sex with dogs. Um, and uh, <laughs> I suppose I'm going to have to talk about bestiality now. Um, so there are two kind of forms of bestiality from the way I see it. Um, there's one where it's forced and one where it's unforced. Um, now, I think the forced um, bestiality is the worst. Both are are bad but false bestiality is the worst um now there was one example that i know of of kind of forced bestiality where a man actually basically it's the same process as happens in the dairy industry so in order to artificially inseminate cows um they basically force their fist up the cow's bum and they put like a metal rod in their vagina and artificially inseminate them. So this one guy was, um, he was masturbating while actually doing that. Now, I don't really see the difference between artificial insemination and that kind of bestiality because both are forced um, on the cow without their consent. Um, both cause internal bruising, both cause internal scarring, both cause internal bleeding. Um, so, and I think that's the worst kind of form of bestiality. Um, he was actually in the UK and he was in prison for six months. Now, the kind of bestiality that um, Whitney West Constant does is, is a less bad version. It's still awful, but it's less bad. Um, she actually, she actually does things where she encourages the animal to do things which are unnatural for it. So she'll like offer it treats in exchange for giving her oral sex and, or if it doesn't do as it's told, she'll kind of lock it in a cage or maybe hit it. I don't know. Um. And I, I think that this, again, is still bad. And it's bad for the same reason that we think having sex with children is bad. Because it's wrong if you're in a, in a, in a kind of relationship with someone where you're, you have a power over them to um, force that power in such a way that it's doing something that's possibly harmful or psychologically damaging or um, will in some way cause them pain or anything like that. The second thing she does to animals is actually neglect them. So um, there's two examples that I know of. Um, one is she actually had a, a dog and it ate food before she wanted it to eat food. So she locked it in a cage. Um, and the second example is the worst example. Um, she actually, she was given a puppy, at, I think five days old or something like that. And she tried to force its eyes open, even though its eyes hadn't properly formed yet. So it was still blind and couldn't really see. And she gave, she didn't give it any milk so it died of starvation and she also tried to feed it the wrong type of food she tried to feed it hot dog sausages um and that's just a ridiculous thing to do to a, a newborn puppy um if you're weaning a newborn puppy you need to feed it um you need to feed it some kind of formula milk um so that it's okay and, and live and survive properly um, it, it really needs to be with its mum for, um, you know, the first few weeks so it weans and then after that it should be probably with its litter mates so that it can socialise and, 
you know, be a happy dog. Um, the last thing I'll say is just don't send her any hate, you know, like I really, really don't think that's very effective. Um, and I've seen a lot of comments telling her to kill herself, telling her to die. And I just think this is going to make her more negative and aggressive and not really listen to people. Now, I think there are two things that you can really do with Whitney West Constant. Um, first thing is educate her. Um, she's actually got a new kitten after um, killing her puppy. And it's really important to educate her about properly caring for that kitten. That kitten's only two weeks old. Now, I'm not entirely sure about care for kittens at two weeks old, um, if they should still be having milk or not, but um, it's something that we should all look up and all send her information on because we want that kitten to, to be okay and be well and to not have any issues. Um, The second thing I would say is look into the legality of some of the things she's doing. Um, in uh, Wisconsin, where she lives, um, both bestiality and and neglecting animals is illegal. So if you see her neglecting animals or see her talking about neglecting animals, it's something that you should report to the police um, in Wisconsin um with information about her um now again i'm not i'm not sure if she she's really really keen on on you know bestiality whether she should move to somewhere like kentucky if um she kept on getting arrested for bestiality in her state so i don't know but um i i do think those are the two things that we need to do I think education is key. Um, thanks for watching guys and please subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.